This is day six. Hopefully we're going to get near Calais, Lille, something like that. But that's what we're aiming for today. That'll do us. I think it's about 380 miles, something like that. Join us for a ride. Whoa! Let's go. Right. Goodbye. The Campanile Hotel. We are on the road again. Heading pretty much, well, not the quite the full length of France, but near as damn it. I thought it was 300 and odd miles. It's actually 486 miles. So, so fook me. Our trip may be extended by a day because I don't think I can handle doing about 800 miles or be more than that. It'd be about it'd be about 900 miles to get home ish. Yeah, I don't think I can handle a 900 mile journey home, so we may well be extending an extra day. So I will I need to apologize to the missus now because I was only supposed to be away for five nights and I'm having to do an extra one which means I'll probably have the, the locks changed by the time I get in but you know hey ho hey ho at least I'd have had a nice lovely tour my long-suffering wife <laughs> It's another nice, or it looks like it's going to be a nice and warm day because we're on about 20 degrees now and it is, what are we on? Yeah, well mine says 19 as well, I was bigging it up a bit. It's only 9 o'clock in the morning and it, it's already quite warm, so it should be a lovely day. If you haven't done it already, why the hell not? Get subscribing. This is uh, quite a nice view when you can get past the trees. Oh, we've got some twisties coming up. It's like a racetrack here with this little barrier. I'm guessing that's to stop you from flying off. Oh, fuck me. Thank God for that. That is a drop and a half down there. Wow. Oh, Hunt, Hunt les Moulins. Again, absolutely butchering the French language. You're welcome. Oh, have we got some kind of sexy bridge in front of us? Oh, we have. Little bridge over... So, I mean, I don't know how true this fact is now, but apparently that is where Napoleon used to wash his clothes. True, honestly, it's a true story. Oh, we are crossing El Bridge Sexio. Right, hang on. Ugh. Yes, how nice is that? I can see why he chose that spot to wash his clothes. Water looks very clean. <laughs> All right, let me think. So Da Vinci did his best work over at the Super U over there. wrong da vinci never went in super u he always went in hyper u that's what they'll be saying bastards they'll go oh absolutely shit that 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 was shit you giving shit fuck it i went there and napoleon fucking only washed his socks there once it's hardly fucking groundbreaking well the thing is, he didn't just wash his socks in that river, he washed his undies as well. What other facts do I know about this little town? 
I dispute that because I'm about to make some up now. I mean, sorry, share some knowledge. So, let me think. I'm, I'm, I'm running out of French people. In fact, no, Bridget Bardot used to walk her pet pigeon round the streets round here. That, that is a true story. In fact, that house is where Gerard Depardieu used to uh, milk his favourite cow, Gladys. Gerard Depardieu. Again, butchering the surname, but you know, that's why they call me the butcher. Well, they don't, but you, you know what I mean. Oh, actually, you know the fields here on your left? Vanessa Paradis used to play frisbee just on those fields on your left. Yeah, yeah, true, true story, true story. Je le taxi. What a stupid song that translated. Fucking Joe the Taxi. Let me think of some more factually correct things for you. Hmm. Hmm. Nothing comes to mind at the minute, but it will do. It won't be long. What's your favourite French phrase, Taff? Yeah, like... Je m'appelle Paul, je m'appelle Wayne, je m'appelle Grim, no ogilly bikes. Mine is, avez-vous un petit poids pour les garçons, s'il vous plaît? And it, it actually doesn't really make sense. No, have have you un petit poids pour les garçons si vous play? Is have you got any peas for the boys, please? And that the French word piscine, meaning swimming pool, is because when we go swimming, we always piss in the pool. True, again, true story. I mean, I don't think kids need to go to school anymore. They just need to listen and watch Gilly bikes for an, an, a whole new education. I think they should start now, they should put it on the curriculum so kids can just watch this and learn something. True story. If you're watching this now, what are you doing? Because it's a Friday morning and I'm just casually bimbling through rural France and it's beautiful. Comments below. Glad to say last night Taff was snoring but he was nowhere near his maximum volume. So I, we did actually manage to get an half decent sleep last night. Which is uh, it's pretty good. It's pretty good, it's the small victories. Ah, the town of Lure. Lure. Do you know what I've not seen since we've entered France? Uh, well, I've seen one, but the, uh, you know, the little pizza vending machines. I do love a pizza vending machine. Should have more of those in the UK. Mackie D's. Gilly's random facts. I should, that should be a new segment. I could just sit there in like a big, a big chair with a book on my knee going, ah, oh, did you know? And then just come out with a random fact. Oh, my word. 
I've got a sore arse now. We've been doing, I think we've done about 150, 160 miles this morning. We've just stopped for a wee stop. I've got to share the toilets with you because they're shocking. Right, so first we've got the sign, just so there's no confusion as to where you're supposed to point and aim. That's our little barrier. And then there we have. And it looks like someone's taken a, a poo in that one. But yeah, that is, that is the toilet. Join me for more toilet stops of France. Ah. Can't turn right. Excellent, no entry. That's the road we want to go down. They've got roadworks on it. Right, it's all right. It'll just reroute us. We're going right. Yes, yeah, the real one. Uh, now unless the road's closed again here we're supposed to be doing a left somewhere half a mile down this road but it I'm sure the write-up said it had some sort of underground car park so probably have like a garage door or something Oh, there it is. Oh, there it is. The best hotel. <laughs> Fuck! Oh, I stalled, bastard. Bastard. Fucking hell, I thought I was dropping it there in front of all those smackheads.